we see uh, many patients who come in and know um, and tell us that they're not ovulating or that there's a, a problem with ovulation. It's one of the most common things that we deal with um, in, uh, in our field. And uh, many, many patients come in and uh, have the diagnosis of polycystic ovaries or anovulation, but that's a very common diagnosis. And fortunately, we have a lot of medications that can be helpful for those patients. Um, uh, you know, before we uh, assume that it is uh, anovulation, we always look at thyroid function and prolactin levels to make sure there are not any other hormonal problems that may be, real, uh, may be impacting their anovulatory status. So uh, in, in those kinds of cases, we can use medications, thyroid medication to alter thyroid function um, and uh, bromocryptine or parladel. Uh, to treat elevated prolactin levels if that seems to be the cause for anovulation. But the majority of patients that are not ovulating um, are um, anovulatory uh, and need medications to help them ovulate. Uh, we have a, a wide range of medications. Uh, most of the patients uh, are on insulin sensitizing agents uh, like uh, metformin or glucophage. And some patients get pregnant uh, just taking that medication alone. And, other, other patients need additional medications to help them with ovulation, such as uh, clomiphene citrate or Clomid, and uh, we also use uh, aromatase inhibitors, letrozole, uh, for ovulation induction. Um, other patients that uh, have problems with ovulation are linked to uh, hypothalamic problems, and those can be related to stress or weight changes uh, uh, that affect ovulation uh, for ladies. And, uh, if, if patients don't respond to some of the oral medications, we have uh, more uh, medications such as gonadotropins, which are subcutaneous injectable medications uh, to help those patients. So even though this is a common problem that many patients have, uh, it's also an area that we have a lot of uh, answers for them and uh, with a wide range of medications. And the majority of patients who you know, have anovulation uh, can be treated uh, in a straightforward fashion with successful ovulation and conception.